so far unbelievable and I like how it's not so crowded. <laughs> That's one thing I really like about it. First timers from Illinois and Indiana loving the motorcycle only event. This is our first time being here. We just rode around the city last night and a few places in the bars a couple blocks over and whatnot. Yeah, it's great. For Brady Street businesses, this festival brings a huge turnout. La Masa and Panada Bar bringing the food and drink to the street while it's closed to cars. We're expecting a lot of locals, a lot of neighbors to come out, but of course, yesterday alone, and we weren't even closed yet, we met just hundreds of people who biked up from across the country. I think it makes it easier for the bikers. They have places to park, and it's just a guarantee that they can come down and have a place to go. Just down the block at Bandit, a vintage clothing store, Harley Davidson merch is flying off the shelves. Just had a customer from Australia, um, people from Alabama, Arkansas, all over, all over the country, all over the nation. The fact that we've got people from all over the world patronizing our neighborhood is really, really exciting. And both agree this event is bigger than the profit. Of course, we're excited to have the sales, but I think it's more just about the fun energy. We love the sense of community we have here on Brady Street. Um, we love supporting each other as businesses. And some bikers already looking forward to a return trip. I'm liking it, and uh, if they do this every year, this will be on our list yeah. <laughs> for sure. And I want to show you something, a very important reminder. See this sign, no parking except motorcycles. This is a two-day festival. Tomorrow at 4 p.m., the festival begins again. But if you're going to park along Brady Street, you have to have your car removed by 2 p.m.